Ah, oh, dude, the guitar, man. The guitar, the, the, the vocals on that. I mean, Robert Plant and Jimmy Page. I mean, just the whole band in general. That's my favorite band, Led Zeppelin. I think they're the best band. But that song just it just brings out like this this mellowness in you. You know, you just you just kick back and you just let the music take you over. And you just drift off into the clouds, you know, onto the stairway, yeah. into heaven. Freedom, freedom, freedom. In my own words. Hmm. I guess following your dreams. I think that's what freedom is, is just being able to live your life in a way that allows you to follow your dreams. I don't think I've ever met a person that doesn't have a dream, you know? It's kind of scary to not have dreams. It's almost like, what's going on in your head? Like, what do you, why do you wake up every day? I mean, yeah, it's to live, but like, to what end? I mean, you just want to go to work and, and go home and watch TV and pig out or whatever. But there's got to be like a purpose and for me my dream is it's a purpose you know i come from a family of artists so it's like innate in me i was born with this ability this natural talent to just convey emotion and compartmentalize things in my brain and bring them out when i need to and i, I believe i have it's a gift for me it's my therapy man you know i think i'd go insane without it if i didn't have that kind of outlet it's the only only thing that I guess makes sense to me. It's the only thing that ever brought out such a passion in me. It's the, it, it, it just like it's the only thing I felt like I could ever like truly do. It's a 24-hour job, man. You know, you always gotta persevere and push forward and move forward. And, you know, whatever obstacles life brings you, you gotta you gotta get through them. You know, and if you wanna quit. I mean, that's your bracket. I'm not gonna quit. You know, it's that hope, that 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 feeling, those those butterflies in your stomach. That's hope. You know, those before you get on stage, those butterflies. That's hope and energy and and, and passion. I feel like that. That's all all in one, man. You know. What do you think about art being cut from schools? I hate that. I mean, <laughs> why is that always the first thing to go? Why? Why? Like, why is art so? Um. What's the word I'm looking for? I, I, I don't disposable. Dis oh, that's the perfect word. That's what exactly. Why is art so disposable? Why? Why is it not important to teach kids, like you know, theater or or whatever, acting or or you know, learn the arts, painting, all that? Why? Why? Why would you deprive children of that? Why is it not important for kids to want to grow up to be young artists? It like either makes you cry, it makes you laugh, it tugs at your heartstrings, it, uh, it makes you crazy, makes people passionate. You know, art is important, man. Art is life. Art is life. Art isn't fake. Acting isn't fake. Anyone who says acting is fake is a fucking idiot. Acting is not fake, man. You Acting is, for me, living in the moment of what is before me and saying lines that have been written but making those lines as real to me as possible. I don't lie on stage. Everything I do on stage or on film is real. That's how I approach my craft. Art is forever, man. That's why art is important. Art is forever. Art is life. Art is everything we are, man. I want to Compare it to the movie Equilibrium, mm. where people don't feel, where you're not allowed to feel anything. You're not allowed to look at art because art makes you feel. They burn art in that movie because it makes you feel. So there's gonna be a bunch of people walking around with no feelings. You know, nobody, nobody's allowed to express themselves through painting or through acting.